time for the adventures of Sam Spud, parboiled potato detective. The name is Spud, Sam Spud. I was working late one night. The blinking of the neon sign outside my window was endless. It was about to drive me crazy. Suddenly, there was a knock at my door. Who's there? <laughs> Butter. Butter who? <laughs> Butter, open up Spud, or we'll be forced to back out down this door. Butter, he looked more like a tub of lard. As a matter of fact, he was a tub of lard. But it was his pals that worried me. They looked like a couple of really bad eggs. Eggs? What's an egg? Oh, sorry, that's not right. I-G-G-S spells eggs. That shouldn't be an I. That should be an E. E-G-G-S. Eggs. They looked like a couple of really bad eggs. As a matter of fact, they were a couple of really bad eggs. Hard-boiled and rotten as they come. I could tell one of them was ready to crack. As a matter of fact, he did. Prime a nip, please. What do you say we check out that diner on the corner? Ah, oh, I like a spud who asks a tub to share some grub as the sun comes up. <laughs> Indeed I do. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. Mom, there's that talking potato with no mouth again. This incessant wordplay is making me queasy. It's educational television, dear. Remember, sometimes things that are good for us are hard to swallow. F. Please type the letter F. F. Now find the things that begin with the letter F. F. Bam. Fiddle. Refrigerator. Try again. Frog. Football. Susie Kabloozy was very opinionated. That means some things she liked, others she hated. She loved her green cat that she named Jeff and hated words that began with the letter F. I can't wait for the day, she would frequently say, that that horrible letter F just goes away. Well, one day she found her wish came true. Every word that begins with the F sound went toodaloo. It started as she frolicked on a chair. First, the furniture disappeared in midair, and then the floor vanished. It was no more, so she had to hang on for dear life to the door. Susie had a fit as she hung on tighter. I need help, she yelled. Call a firefighter. But firefighter begins with a letter F, too, so she disappeared before there was anything she could do. Susie knew she made a frightening mistake because a world without F words was too much to take. From Susie's face, tears began to flow. I feel like a fool. Letter F, don't go. I see my folly. We need the letter F around. From now on, I'll forever be fond of the F sound. Then all the F words came back from where they were missing. Everything was fixed. She had learned her lesson. And to this day, wherever Susie happens to be, she carries these two things most happily. Her green cat that she renamed Fef, and a very big red letter F. F. And now it's time for... Gwen's word! Gwen's word! Excellent! Gwen here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir <laughs> and Sir Anne. Anne. Blend on, dudes. Anne. Anne. That's Gawain's word for today, and this is Gawain saying it'll be fantastic <laughs> to see you next time on Gawain's Word, Gawain's Word. And now the Word Doctor with Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Ruth Wertheimer with a very unusual case. Two ladders who are not enjoying themselves. Isn't that right? We just sit around all day being nothing but un. You are not nothing, un. You just need to find an initial consonant to make you feel complete mm. and bring a little excitement into your life. And I have just the consonant for you. The letter F. <laughs> hey, I'm fun! I'm fun! <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Ruth! <laughs> you are welcome! <laughs> I'm fun! I'm Ooh, fun. that was fun! My friend Freddy wears an afro He loves frankfurters and french fries He's a monster moving freak He wants Frankenstein all week And then he gets so frightened from it He just cries and cries and cries for glue. Hello, young man. Hi. G is for glue and glove. G is for glue, glove, and gate. G is for glue, glove, gate, and guitar. G is for glue, glove, gate, guitar, and goose. G is for glue, glove, gate, guitar, goose, and gorilla. Oh, goody! G is for glue, glove, gate, guitar, goose, gorilla, and grandfather. G is for glue, glove, gate, guitar, goose, gorilla, grandfather, and grateful. Hello there. I'm a goat. Goat begins with the letter G. Uh oh. This is the letter G. G has a ga sound, as in gopher or gorilla. I wanted to show you something that begins with the letter G, but I couldn't find a single thing. Wait, there is something. <sighs> right here. Grass. Oh, letter G. Gorilla begins with G. G for gone. G for go and get. Oops. G 
also for glass. G for ground. And grow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And garden. G for gallop. And also, goodbye. <laughs> Just keep pulling! We'll be out in a second! <laughs> All right! Nice job, Charlie! The H is a nice letter. Isn't it nice and simple? Two lines with a line across the middle. It is the first letter in a word which we use often. The word... Hello? Hello, is Harold there? There's no one here by that name. The word hello begins with an H. Hello? Hello, is Harold there? There's no one here by that name. Hello is a word that we should use politely each time we answer the phone. Hello. Hello, this is Harold. Do I have any calls? Too. That one is with an H, doesn't it? Yeah, big H. 